didn't realize the other guy was into me. Got an unwelcome surprise. Redditors that have had a threesome and regretted it, what was the unexpected fallout? My bro is back for another story time, oh boy, I'm excited to see you again. Did you miss your bro Andrew at all? Hope you did, cause I got a great story time for you today. Since you're already here, can you hit the like button and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. If you do, I'll send you a case of bang energy. No more dilly dally, let's start the stories. Two destroyed marriages, haven't seen my kids in two years, three years of crippling depression. You know, the usual. The guy was built like a brick crap house, so I spent most of the experience trying to suck my gut in. Praying for it to be over. I felt cheap. One of the girls developed the feelings for me. I didn't and felt cheaper. I only got head from one of the girls and her boyfriend resented me for it because I didn't actually duck her. He was there because it wasn't a threesome. It was a sevensome. Three girls, their boyfriends, and moi. None of us talk anymore. It's definitely better that way. I, F, had a threesome with my BF at the time, now my ex, and a mutual female friend of ours. He ended up cheating on me multiple times with her afterward, and then ended up becoming obsessed with her, almost to the point of stalking. He even stole a friend's car to go see her. It was wild. LOL. I had really strong feeling for this guy, and we he'd been flirting for a while. It was going well, and one night I was over at his house with another female friend of ours. We got drunk, one thing led to another, and we had a threesome. Now they are dating and I'm still alone. I was the third for this couple, they were both really keen on me. The experience was actually pretty normal, but afterwards they kept pestering me for more. I had realized I wasn't that interested in the both of them and kept politely declining their offers. They never stopped offering, so I finally had to say I wasn't interested. I'd see one or both of them around occasionally and they'd give me a half-hearted smile. My ex came home from the bar with his friend and asked if I would have a threesome with them. I reluctantly agreed after drinking a little. The experience was pretty good, but my ex was so insecure and made my life miserable for a few weeks after that because he was salty about the fact that I actually enjoyed it. No idea what he was expecting. I don't know if I regretted it per se, but I was the third wheel. After the sexcapade we passed out and later on that night her boyfriend went to the bathroom. She then cuddled up to me and said that was really fun and all, but if we do this again can we get somebody I am attracted to? Then her boyfriend walked back in and she realized that I wasn't him, I could literally feel the room fill up with awkwardness. Well, I semi-regretted it. Like it was fun, but maybe I would have liked a better third. Anyway, freshman year of college I was into this guy and he had slept with this other girl in our friend group, but was also into me. Valentine's Day we're all single, we go at it, and we have a great time. Later I end up dating the dude and like two or three years into the relationship he cheats on me with threesome girl. My first threesome ever. The dude didn't know what foreplay was, his wife was too shy to touch me in any way, and when the dude was ducking me he dislocated his shoulder. Never again with them. I left unsatisfied and upset I'd wasted the gas to get there. Edit. Holy duck my first award thank you so much lmao this got way more attention than I thought it would. To answer some questions. Yeah, he did dislocate his shoulder, and it wasn't so much funny as it was concerning and, you know, a mood ruiner. He dislocated it before so it really didn't take much. It wasn't so much the shoulder dislocating as it was the lack of inclusion I got from PPL who invited me over in the first place that made me never want to see them again. My wife and I had a threesome with a friend of mine that had recently left the military, Everything seemed fine until he told us he was in love with my wife, his brother also happened to be my best friend, we're not as close as we were, though, who is super insecure and apparently also had feelings for my wife. Later my military friend was diagnosed with schizophrenia and his delusions were telling him I was the most evil person on the planet and that aliens were gonna give him superpowers and disintegrate me, that is not an exaggeration. He now gets monthly shots from the VI, and he's doing a lot better. I mean, I guess it wasn't necessarily unexpected, but it just ruined my relationship with my girlfriend at the time. 
We had a threesome with a female friend of hers, and she couldn't get the image of me having sex with her friend out of her head. She said that she couldn't shake the feeling that if I truly loved her, I wouldn't have been able to sleep with someone else. Worst part of it was my GF was essentially my dream girl, and the girl we added to the mix wasn't nearly as spectacular as she was. So I traded a long-term relationship with my dream girl for one night of a threesome, and I would never have made that trade with hindsight. The girl ripped my bra off, and I was really mad about it, since it was a $70 bra that unclicks from the front, and I really liked it. Tried to brush it off but couldn't focus on anything else. Then we start having fun and her dude makes out with me, and she breaks down and stops everything, starts crying and runs out the room. Her guy followed her, I was just like duck this crap. Got dressed and left by the other door. Note to all couples wanting to have threesomes. You don't have to have a threesome sometimes it just needs to remain a fantasy, or you need to be with the right person. Edit. What the heck? This blew up. Thank you for the silvers. I am honored and also grieving as I am reminded of my beautiful red push-up bra with a little silver front clip. RIP. Met up with two girls that live together, F and, for an LSD trip, threesome ended up happening. The threesome was great, lasted for a long time, and we all had lots of fun. Over the next few days both girls were texting me and seemed interested, but they each wanted me and not to share. They fell out over it and one of them, F, moved away and I never saw her again, the other, H, I wasn't that interested in as she wanted a relationship and I didn't. Anyway, fast forward a month or so and turns out H was pregnant. The situation is kind of ongoing as H decided to keep the baby and it's due in May. DNA test will decide if I have anything to do with her in the future, as I'm not convinced I'm the only possibility of being the father, but we are in contact. But hey, at least it wasn't both girls pregnant and two children born four days apart. Edit. F and H were the first letters of each girl's name. It doesn't mean female and hermaphrodite or horse. Just wanted to clear that up. I was asked by my girlfriend to have a threesome with her and her best friend, a friend I had known for a long time, and who had actually introduced us. A couple of minutes into it I realized that my girlfriend was not remotely interested and had pulled back. Which made it awkward because I was not remotely interested in my friend sexually, I only agreed to it because my girlfriend asked, and she had been a little distant lately. I thought it might help rekindle the relationship. I carried on and did my best to make my friend happy, and then all of a sudden my girlfriend stood up and said, looks like you two are good, I will leave you to it. I stopped what I was doing and asked WTF was going on, and eventually they explained that the whole thing was a scheme for my girlfriend to break up with me and pass me over to her best friend, who apparently had a crush on me. Needless to say this did not go down well, and I ended up losing both of them from my life. Killed a relationship with jealousy. My girlfriend invited a female friend over as a birthday present, and we all had a fun time. Note. It was not my idea, I didn't push for it or ask for it, I only said yes when she sprung it on me the day it occurred, because while I'm not weak-willed, there is a threshold for temptation, and the situation met it. Afterwards, my girlfriend was jealous of me spending time with any female friends, hers or mine. This included my butch lesbian friend who I have zero romantic or sexual chemistry with. It got to the point where my girlfriend was throwing a crap fit if I went to see a ducking movie with a group of friends that had any single women in it. Finally she told me that I had to cut out any non-related women in my life. Obviously I said duck no, and we broke up. This is my time to shine. When I was 19 I, F, was invited by a couple to participate in a threesome. They were both super hot so I was pumped. So it starts and everything is going fine, we're all touching each other whatever. We get into a position where I'm sitting on her face while she lays on her back and her boyfriend ducks her missionary. All good until the boyfriend kinda shoved me off her. I was like WTF? Then she gets up and her face is absolutely covered in blood. Like lion after eating a zebra blood. It's literally everywhere. The sheets, the pillows, her face, his hands, you get the point. Turns out she sliced the inside of my vagina with her very sharp acrylic nails, they looked very nice, just don't feel the best against my fragile vaginal membrane, and I was bleeding profusely. 
I cleaned myself off and was like I'm gonna go, and they were like bye. It's still one of my absolute favorite stories ever. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.